Hello, my fabulous kindergarten students. I am very excited for this week because we are still inspired by the outside weather. If you remember last week, we made polar bears because we felt like polar bears because there's so much snow outside. So this week, we are still making something that has to do with snow, but a little bit different. So this week we are making a snowman, but not the regular type of snowman that you see. We are using something called perspective to make the snowman appear like it's spinning around looking up. Mm -hmm. So perspective, when you use it in art, you are able to trick the person that's looking at your art into thinking that that is what snowman look like. So here is my project. As you can see, we are not doing the three circles like that. We are doing a big, medium, and small circle, and it looks like he's spinning around. And we have a camera high up taking a photo of the snowman. We are also going to practice shading. We talked about shadows last week, and we are going to try to do some shadows again, where on the edges of our snowman, so when it goes dark to lighter. So we are going to try to work on those. Let's get right into making our twirly snowman. We have our white paper and I'm using a pencil first and we're doing a circle in the middle, a little bit of a bigger circle in the middle, and then an even bigger one. So we have three circles. It kind of looks like a target. Once we have our circles in pencil, it is time to start shading. And I used a teal color, but you could use blue or purple. I would stick to those three kinds of colors for your snowman shading. And what you're going to do is go on top of your pencil lines. So three circles, you're gonna go back over with your crayon you're going to try your best to stay on the line. And if it helps, you can spin your paper around. I like to do that. I think it makes me draw more perfect. And you can try that if you'd like. Once you have your pencil lines drawn, it's time to shade. And what that means is you're going to press darker where the crayon line is and lighter when it's further away. So we'll press darker and then I'm going light. So I'm getting the dark teal all the way to a light teal with the same crayon. Remember you can spin your paper around if that helps. You can also pause this video to catch up or to watch it again. But I'm going over it and then using a light crayon I'm going over it again. So after that, I used a black marker and did two dots for the eyes, a triangle for the nose, the carrot nose, and two long skinny Ys for the arms. Once I did that, I went another circle around the head, but this one is for the scarf. You can do whatever color you'd like of that. And then I did these two rectangles coming off and I added a design. You can design your scarf however you'd like. You don't have to do black zigzags. You could do it however you would like because you are the artist. I did go in with some purple. I thought it needed a little something extra. And buttons. Buttons for the smile, buttons down the belly. Once you have this done, you could be done, but you could, this is optional, so it means you don't have to. You could cut it out if you'd like, and you could have a circular art piece. But you gotta be very careful around those little arms. So I have my circle snowman, my twirly whirly snowman, and I'm gonna glue it onto construction paper. I picked out a blue piece and a black piece. Um, I decided on the black piece, and I'm using a glue stick to color that down. Way to go, I can't wait to see your snowman. So make sure you take a photo of it and post it into Seesaw so I can see it and count it for a grade. Also, remember this is the last week to turn any work in for second quarter. So if you're missing a lot of work, you're running out of time, you need to submit your artwork.
works for me. Good luck and have fun. Bye.